my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be me showing you guys how I basically get my curls, but now with short hair. If you've already missed my last vlog, I did cut my hair a few inches. Now it is extremely short, as you can see here. I just washed my hair, and I'm about to go through the process of blowing out my hair, flat ironing my hair, and then curling my hair, just to show you guys how I would do curls on short hair. A few of you have also requested that I show you guys what type of products I put on my hair so that's the only reason why I'm coming to you guys with curly wet hair because I want to show you guys exactly what products I put in my hair so I put actually quite a few things in before I blow it out the first thing I put in my hair is this leave-in conditioner and it is from Olive Miracle anti-breakage formula I feel like you guys can just use any type of leave-in conditioner which you think is good for your hair which works that's always my method if I don't find the same conditioner here in Germany The next thing that I like to put in my hair is another leave-in conditioner and this one is from Carol's Daughter. I brought it back from New York. This is what I use to spray in my hair. And I'm coming to you guys barefaced. I normally would film these videos with makeup, but I just couldn't be bothered today. So you're gonna get my bare face. <laughs> the next thing that I like to put in my hair is this Sleek Me Blowout Lotion. And I got this in New York as well from the beauty supply store. And this is by Lotta Body with coconut and shea oils. So it just looks like this and you can see the price is still on there. It was not that expensive. And the last thing that I put in my hair is a heat protector styling cream. So this is just to help me protect, you know, my hair against the heat, which I'm about to put on it. So I do about two pumps of that. And I know some people as well asked what type of shampoo and conditioner I use, so I'm going to show you that now. Normally on my hair, I kind of switch it up between a Nexus or a Veda. So right now I am using the Nexus um, Strength Recovery Shampoo. This is what I use. And then I'm also using the same Strength Recovery Conditioner. So I have both. This is kind of what I use for my hair. And then normally after that, I like to deep condition my hair in this heat cap. And I do use the Aveda damage remedy and I do this about once a week and I sit under in the heat cap for about 15 minutes and then I wash it out and then I do this whole routine with putting in those leave-in conditioners. So now I'm just going to blow dry my hair. If you haven't already seen, I did already show a tutorial about how I blow dry my hair. Definitely click the card at the top here. I am back now with fully blow dried hair. I still have to run the flat iron, but I just wanted to stop and show you guys how my hair is looking right now. I actually really love the result. I feel so 90s. So I'm just going to flat iron my hair and I will just speed through that process so you guys can see all of that. This is my hair completely flat iron, blown out and everything. So my hair is actually relatively super straight as you can see. And I just love this look because it just looks a lot healthier than my hair did before. The ends were just all over the place, but this is a look that I can get used to. And with this short hair, I think I will normally wear my hair straight, but for the purpose of this video, I will curl it and try to show you guys the curls that I can achieve with this hair. My hair is a little bit still too hot, so I'm just gonna let it cool down before I actually start to curl my hair. I think my hair has cooled down. So we're gonna start now with the curling process. Normally my curling process when I had a little bit longer hair wasn't that long, so I doubt this will take 
any longer. I like to curl my hair with the same flat iron that I use to straighten my hair. So nothing difficult, you don't need multiple tools. I do like to use these clips here to hold the curls so the heat can like collect the curl and make it stay. So I normally just grab a piece of hair like so. I take the flat iron and I kind of curl outwards. So I take it like this and I curl my hair outwards like that. I kind of just hold it a little bit. And then my hair normally just drops like that. And what I do is I just take my hand and I cup it like this. Just have to look at the mirror and I kind of just bring it up like that in its natural curl shape. It's a little bit difficult with short hair. And then I just roll it up and pin curl it like that. So that's kind of where these clips come in handy. And then I just clip it like that and let the heat, you know, hold the curl a little bit. So I'm gonna do that with the other pieces. I'm gonna show you again. And I'm kind of weird, I like to do this half of my head first and then do this half of my head. And that's kind of how I like to curl my hair. Let's try that again. So curling outwards, I'm just dragging down. And then let it fall naturally. I'm basically just going to do that all around my head and then that is how I will curl my hair. So my hair is all done right now. I'm just going to allow it to cool in the little knots at the top of my head, maybe for about two to three minutes, just so that, you know, the curl kind of stays. And especially since I just flat ironed my hair, it might not stay as well as it should. Okay, so two minutes has passed and now I'm just going to take out the curls. So guys, this is my hair out right now and before I brush it out, someone in one of my other videos asked me which brush I use and why I use this brush. The brush is kind of disgusting so I'm not going to show you the front too much but it's a brush that kind of looks like this and this is what I use to brush my hair out and someone once before asked me why don't I use a brush like this or use a comb and I found that when I used a comb or a brush like that, it like, I don't know, it messes up my curls, it does not give me the results that I want but when I use kind of like a soft bristled brush like this one it still retained the curl and still gave me that bouncy look that I like so I normally would just brush my hair out like this with the soft bristled brush and just call it a day so that is my finished curl look with short hair and I just love it because it's still giving me this bouncy loose type of curls i would look so much cuter with like a nice sun hat some makeup some brows on but i'm not giving that today so this is what you're gonna get but i think the curls just look so so cute just give you a little 360 And there you guys have it. This is how I would curl my hair after cutting it. So curling short hair, this is how I would do it. I hope that this video helped some of you in some way. And I hope you guys are staying safe and I'll see you in the next video.